supernatural word for that day. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of April, 2021, our year of possibilities. And a man of God, Pastor Dennis Amos Emojong, has a message for us. He says, walking in miracles. The opening scripture is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 22. And the Bible says, Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst. As you, as you yourselves also know. Amen. Jesus is a solution to all human problems in the world. God is always deeply involved in helping his people. And he does this by performing miracles. A miracle is a supernatural intervention of God in one situation. Wherever the presence of God is, there must be miracles. Whenever God calls you to pray, it means he wants to answer your prayers. And there is no such a thing as impossibility with God because God never turns down the cry of his people. Glory to God. If you want to work with God for your financial success, for instance, you must have the thinking of the miraculous. As long as you think impossibility, you can't work miracles. Amen. You must have a different mindset. The miraculous isn't based on the wisdom of this world. When there is a seemingly impossible situation and no human mind can comprehend a way out, trust the Holy Spirit for the working of miracles. Amen. The Bible says, surely there is hereafter and your hope will not be cut off. According to Proverbs chapter 23, verses 18. In other words, whatever your expectation is, it is as good as done. Amen. The days of expectation have been birthed. The days of manifestation. You were born into the day of the manifestation. The day of receiving anything we desire from God by faith. Glory to God. Therefore, stop expecting a miracle and start walking in your miracle. Hallelujah. Let's go to our meditation scripture for today. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 21. And the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Amen. We continue with our one-year Bible study plan. And today we are reading the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and chapter 28, and Psalm chapter 116 and chapter 118. Amen. Would you please rise up on your feet, lift up your holy hands, and let's make this prophetic declaration together. Lord, I choose to walk in your love and forgiveness every day of my life with everyone around me. I will keep my faith strong and see your supernatural interventions manifested in my life. God's grace is greater than any bondage. I receive my miracle now in the name of Jesus. Amen.